Climbing up this hill this morning, the trail is really flooded. It's uh, we're having to create side trails just to get around it. You don't really want to walk through it. Kind of resembles a waterfall, and I think it's just a runoff because it runs right across the trail. Pretty much runs down the trail, making most of it impassable. But we'll find a way around it. Well, we got through the hardest mile of the trail last night. I caught last night because we got out of there in the dark with it raining, which makes Mahusik Notch not a lot of fun. I think if you hit it on a sunny day, you got a lot of people scouting where the trail actually goes, it might be all right. But in the rain and getting dark, it was pretty scary. And it rained last night quite a bit. And this is the trail. And we got to climb a mile, 0.3 up it. And it's basically just like climbing a waterfall. So we're going to go into a hostel tonight and uh, dry everything out and set our plans for the next couple days. I'd like to be more in a upbeat mood out here hiking something I've dreamed about for 14 years, but... They say there's no such thing as a bad day on the trail. <laughs> They're wrong. This is not really the kind of creek you want to cross, but we really have no choice because we'd have to go back to Mahuchi Notch back the other way. And uh, looks like the only way to the other side. Wish us luck. Well, it wasn't as bad as expected. The current's pretty swift and the rocks are pretty slippery, but we just, we locked arms and uh, they always say to loosen your backpack. In case you fall, you can just get out of your backpack quick, but it wasn't as deep as we thought it was gonna be. But, wow, it's a pretty strong current, that's for sure. I don't know if you can see it or not, but I set my pole down to grab these roots and there it sits at the bottom of this ravine with no real way to get down to it I don't believe so we'll go around this rock pile and see but I believe I'll be buying me a new uh, trekking pole in town update on the hiking pole it was recovered I had to scale down a wall and climb through a little gorge cave like thing and I could see it but I couldn't reach it and I barely squeezed through a little opening <laughs> and was able to reach it uh, it wouldn't be a big deal I could get another hiking pole but a lot of times these outfitters in the small towns uh, I went to replace one earlier in the hike and they don't sell them individually and they usually carry one pair and they're like a, I think they're $165 and I didn't, I thought it was worth trying to scale down into that gorge to get it back for that. Mm -hmm. And this is uh, part of the gorge that we're climbing up today. It's called Mahusik Arm. Mm -hmm. it's, uh, it don't get talked about like the notch, but probably should. <laughs> you might say we had a little rain. making these trails almost impassable. The waterfall for the day. About a mile out of town. That white blaze right down there is the trail. So we come this way. I guess straight across if you can kind of eerie looking with the fog on the pond. Mm -hmm. 
this is a view of I believe we're right near the top of the Mahusik arm if we got maybe point one or so then this might be the top but all the clouds out there and fog and that's the the remnants of uh, Hurricane uh, Debbie and it's probably gonna hit us for a couple days here we're gonna figure out what our plan is last night was not a good night in the tent <laughs> I think we got maybe oh, I, an inch at least if not more last night and they were calling for two inches of rain tonight so we'll see